Hey, this is Jay Weinberg from Slipknot. I'm here on behalf of the Hearing Health Foundation to talk to you a little bit about hearing loss prevention and hearing protection because it is a vital component of uh, what all of us do. Um, I'll tell you a little bit of a story. Back when I first started teaching myself how to play drums when I was about 14 or so, you know, I was kind of holed up by myself with some sound canceling headphones, listening to my favorite records, trying to teach myself how to play. And that certainly helped being, you know, playing loud drums, loud cymbals, but having this kind of hearing protection while I was teaching myself how to actually do it, that was super helpful. But then when it came time to actually collaborating with people and uh, playing music with other guitar players and stuff, I got a very quick lesson in how important hearing loss prevention and hearing protection really is. Uh, so back when I was 14, I got into a jam room with two buddies from school who started to teach themselves how to play guitar. And we're, we're in a room and we're jamming, but I can't quite hear them uh, because their amps are turned away from me. And I'm playing everything I can, do, you know, playing hard and it's already the, the drums and cymbals, everything is super loud but I can't hear their guitars. So I have a bright idea and tell them, well, I can't really hear your guitars. Why don't you turn it all the way up to 10 and turn both of your guitar amps towards me? And then I can hear your guitars. And uh, that was not the most astute decision. Uh, and I learned that really quickly. You know, we had a great day jamming, but then the next morning, I had no high-end frequencies in, in my hearing. I thought I honestly lost my hearing altogether. And I was really frightened because I didn't know how to deal with that. And especially, you know, when you're recovering from like major hearing loss or like a hearing loss event like that, you know, the one thing you want to do to kind of pass the time is listen to, listen to music. And you can't even do that because it's too painful. So I learned really quickly at a young age that hearing protection is an absolute must if you want any sort of longevity and sustainability in playing music. Um, so ever since that day, I've never sat down at a kit and played the way I play um, without hearing protection, not even once. Um, you know, it's not an option. If you want to have a sustainable life in the creative field of playing loud rock music, especially if you're a drummer with, you know, these are dangerous tools that we have and uh, and we have to use them you know carefully and not shortchange ourselves for the experience of playing music and still play super hard and still play super loud but it has to be done intelligently and that's where hearing loss prevention uh, comes into play and where the uh, hearing health foundation comes into play uh, so I'd like you to head to hearinghealthfoundation.org and check out the keep listening campaign uh, because it is very important, and it's very important to start at a young age uh, to t start taking care of your, your hearing health. Um, for me personally, I don't go to a single show without wearing earplugs. I don't go on stage without wearing earplugs or in-ear monitors where I can hear myself and my bandmates. Um, it's incredibly important, and if I had, you know, not worn earplugs and, and in-ear monitors from a young age, I might have done a, a tremendous amount of damage to my hearing. So I strongly encourage you, wear earplugs, do it the right way, do it intelligently. You can still rock out, you can still play the way you want to, and you'll be able to play for the rest of your life. So take care of your ears, keep listening, and head to the hearinghealthfoundation.org.